I've got a card that has a little bit of a variation on my fire and ice technique. And this one uses mica instead of gilding flakes. Um, it's actually a technique that Julia Watts has shared with me and I thought I would um, show you how it works on the video. So, to introduce the dies, we've cut our sentiment out with the pierced flags. We're going to have a little floral element using the orange blossom complete petals. The background has been done with the ornate octagon striplet. And we're going to use the cathedral background for uh, the center of this for our focal element in the middle of our card. So I'm going to start with the background and work up. I've already cut the ornate octagon three times with just using the um, inside decorative piece here. And I'll just quickly show you that piece by itself. And I've moved it along, cut it three times without the outer cutting edge to create this background. So next thing I want to bring in is my sticky adhesive sheet. So I'm going to just peel this back and place it over the top of the die cut. Okay. Just sort of line it up, excuse me, while I lean in just a little to catch the edge of that. There we go. All right, pop that upside down and I'm gonna use the waxy side to just make sure that it is adhered nicely. Okay, so at this point, I used to use uh, gilding flakes for this technique. But Julia showed me one day that it looks really nice with the mica powder. So I thought, oh, I'll give that a go. So I've got uh, a selection of different metallics here. In fact, let me just give you a quick uh, check. Angel Gold Sparkle. I believe this one is uh, just silver. I have Silver Sparkle. And the last one we'll be using is Sunny Gold Sparkle. Now the smaller pots come out of a set of micas, whereas the larger pot is uh, sold individually. Just wanted to show you the difference. Okay, got a little mica brush. So what I'm gonna do is just pick up some random mica and flick it around the background. Because remember that sticky sheet is all showing through from that side. Kind of go back and forth here between different colors. Got the gold. Just mix it around and a little bit here and there. There we go. I'm going to do the uh, lighter, paler gold. Pop that into place a little bit. And this one's darker, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little mixing and see what kind of area I have left here. So I'm going to just kind of burnish it in with my finger. There we go. And some of this area here that's still got a little bit of exposed adhesive, we can just put in some of the darker silver. I'm going to try and keep that not too heavy. I think I can probably even do a little bit of brushing into place. Just making sure that we hit all of that sticky sheet. Now, blend it around and cover it all. And the mica has got a really nice shimmer to it. So if you're not sure that you've hit all the areas, you can pick it up and hit it towards the light and you can really see where it, it is. Do a little more blending here. Make sure I've got it all well, well caught. Pop those out of my way here. And then just going to grab a little bit of a tissue and wipe down the extra bit. Clean up my mat underneath me. Now the next step is a little bit important because you need to encapsulate that or it will get onto the other side of it. So I'm just going to use a piece of copy paper. You can use um, cardstock if you prefer. Do a little bit of gluing around the edge here. Just make sure that that is well adhered. In fact, you could even go in and catch a couple of the centers of these areas here to make sure it's nice and stuck. And down that way. 
pop that on there. Okay. Now, I would take this and put it into a paper trimmer and trim it exactly the size I want it, but I have one already done, so I'm just going to go forward from this point. Let me get that started. There we go. Okay. Expose that sticky sheet there. I'm going to bring over a piece of copy paper. Pop that underneath and use my diamond sprinkles on the front. So this will give you that ice look from the fire and ice. There we go. You can just burnish that in. Catch all the sticky and coat it really nicely. So you can still see the mica through that but the diamond snow adds just a little bit of a, or diamond spr uh, sprinkles adds a little bit of a, a bling to it on top of everything else. Now I could take my paper cutter and just trim that, but I've already got one that I've done ahead of time. So I'll pop back and use this one. I did a little bit of matting with gold and silver to kind of bring that in and tie it in. So I've got that background all finished and some piercing around the edge. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to um, I've used the cathedral window background here for the center of my um, focal element, but what I want to do is cut a frame for it. So I've got these two ovals in the set, and I'm going to bring in a piece of silver card, and we're just going to cut a really nice little frame to finish that piece off. Pop those on there. Center them nicely. There we go. Two pieces of tape and run that through. I like having the double ovals in the set because it does give you a little bit extra things you can do with it. And you can make that centerpiece larger or smaller depending on what you need. Take my tape and let's just get that nice little frame on there. And I think I'll just use some of our Cosmic Shimmer Fine Line uh, glue to do that. I'll just run a little bead around there. Just about the right thickness with the brush. And we get this side. A little bit more. There we go. It's a nice glue. Just give it a second to set up so it gets tacky. Okay. And we'll pop these back into place and do a little tidying there. Okay. Just put that right onto the edge of that. The glue will give you a little bit of, of uh, wiggle room too so you can get it nice and even. There we go. Down there. I'm going to pull it down to the edge a little bit that way. There we go. Okay, so I can bring this over and put that in the center. We have the glitter there, so as usual, we're going to add some glue to the back of our uh, mounting foam. Make sure it stays stuck onto the uh, glittered background nicely. Pop that into place. Oh, let's put it right about in the middle, I think. And I'm going to work towards um, making a flower here. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and cut a couple of the uh, orange blossoms. And I just want to show you what I've done with them. Here it is. A little bit of a paint pen. Now I know it's a gold on gold and you might not be able to pick it up very well on camera. But it just adds a little extra edge to this flower. And I think it's a nice little touch. Go around the edge of these, just giving it tiny bit of that gold paint around the edge. Okay. I've done all the way around both of those. So what we're going to do is do a little bit of forming. Bring in my stylus. Just give them a push down in the corner there. That forms them up nicely and then we can pinch that center in. Put a little glue on there to get it tacky and we'll do this one. Same exact way and just push that in the middle there. 
I'm going to bring this little guy back over and we'll just pop them into place, offset them just ever so slightly. Give that a second to set up. And what I've done is I've taken the little teeny stamens that are in the center that come with this set, and I've just made a little center by cutting two of them out of silver and offsetting them. Oops, putting a little pearl in the middle of those. So we are going to put that right into the middle of that flower. Give that a second to set up. Let me just move some of these out of the way. There we go. And let's pick that up and stick it right there, give it a second to adhere. Oops, that looks good. Okay, so I have a sentiment here. I've gone ahead and stamped it in gold and embossed it. A little bit of a silver backing done with the pierced flags. So we'll pop that right across the center of the uh, die cut. And add some tool for my flower, which I do love. Let me pop that around glue dot. There we go. And we have some new uh, metallic baker's twine, which has a, a like a natural colored base and then it has gold or silver threads running through it. And I've used just a little bit of that in the silver here. Put that underneath my flower. And just to finish off, we have a really pretty gold and silver flower there. Move that around. Lovely. How pretty is that? And I just love the way that mica just makes a really pretty background. You could do this with any color mica, same exact technique. Just don't forget to encapsulate it or it will contaminate onto the front.